In the previous presentation, I explained fixed bias configuration of a transistor. In this lecture, I will solve one numerical problem based on fixed bias configuration. Let's read the problem. For the fixed bias configuration, determine IC, IC is the collector current, VCC, the biasing potential, beta, the amplification factor, and RB, the resistance connected in series with the base. This is the circuit given to us in which RC, the resistance connected in series with the collector, is equal to 2.7 kilo ohms. I will write this down. RC is equal to 2.7 kilo ohms. IB, the base current, is equal to 20 microamps. This is given in the problem. The base current IB is equal to 20 microamps. The ammeter current IE is equal to 4 milliamps. The ammeter current IE is equal to 4 milliamps. VCE, the output voltage, VCE, the output voltage is equal to 7.2 volts. And we have to calculate the collector current IC, which is also the output current of this circuit. So I will start with the A part. I will first calculate the collector current IC. We already know the ammeter current IE is equal to sum of collector current and the base current. We know the value of ammeter current and the base current. So we can easily calculate the collector current. It is equal to IE minus IB. IE is equal to 4 milliamps. 4 milliamps. IB is equal to 20 microamps minus 20 microamps. We can also write 20 microamps as 0 0.02 milliamps. So we have 4 milliamps minus 0 0.02 milliamps. When you solve this, you will have 3.98 milliamps. This is the value of collector current and the answer of the A part. And you can see collector current is nearly equal to the ammeter current. Collector current is 3.98 milliamps and the ammeter current is 4 milliamps. So we can say that the collector current is nearly equal to the ammeter current. Now I will solve the B part. In the B part, we need to calculate, we need to calculate VCC, the biasing potential. I will use KVL and I will apply the KVL in the output loop. So we have, we have VCC minus IC inside the bracket we have 2.7 kilo ohms minus 7.2 volts equal to 0. You can see in this circuit we have VCC then we have minus of 2.7 kilo ohms multiplied by the current that is IC and then we have minus of VCE equal to 0 potential of ground is equal to 0 volts and from this equation we can easily calculate the value of VCC because we know IC it is equal to 3.9 milliamps so VCC is equal to 3.98 milliamps multiplied with 2.7 kilo ohms plus 7.2 volts when you solve this you will have 10.746 volts plus 7.2 volts and finally we have 17.946 volts as the value of biasing potential VCC. So this is the answer of the B part. Now we will solve the C part in which we have to calculate the value of beta. Beta is equal to IC the output current divided by IB the input current IC is equal to 3.98 milliamps and IB the base current is equal to 20 microamps 20 microamps so beta is equal to 199 this is the answer of the C part in the D part we need to calculate the value of resistance RB and for this we have to apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law in the input loop and we have we have VCC, VCC minus IBRB minus IBRB 
minus we have minus of VBE minus VBE equal to zero and by using this equation we can easily calculate resistance RB VBE is equal to 0 0.7 volts so we have 17.946 volts value of VCC minus 20 microamps value of base resistance multiplied with resistance RB minus 0 0.7 volts equal to 0 from here from here we have RB equal to 17.946 volts minus 0 0.7 volts divided by 20 microamps so the base resistance is equal to 862.3 kilo ohms when you solve this you will have this value as the value of resistance RB so this is the answer of the D part and this is how you have to solve the fixed bias configuration of a transistor this is all for this lecture. See you in the next one.